So as we talk about trust, um, I like to always, you guys are security experts, but I like to throw it to you guys first and just ask if I can do this in this room, um, ask you, and for those of you who are viewing online, I just think about this question. What in your life today do you trust? You're asking security people. I, I am. <laughs> it doesn't have to be tech. But like, what do you trust? Come on, Mitch, tell me. What do you, what do you trust? Um, I do trust certificates that okay. I get from a known source. That, okay. I mean, not to, Thank to you. play to you, but yeah. Well, I, I appreciate that, Mitch. That's <laughs> You're good. Welcome. Certificates are a proven trusted commodity, yeah. right? I mean, they've been around for a long time and they're proven trustworthy. But what else? What in your life? I trust our cat to wake me up at 6.30 in the morning because she's hungry. I love that. I'll tell you that I don't trust my kids because okay. they're always scheming against me. Okay. So. <laughs> Your kids have less time to establish trust with you also, right? And they're scheming, they're, <laughs> right? Why do you trust your cat every morning? Well, because she manipulates me. And okay. her way of manipulating me is to come and, and attack my face when she's hungry at 6.30 in the okay. morning. I'm guessing it's, it's consistency of timing and, right, every morning the same time. Like we trust the sun comes up every morning. There's because, a pattern that I see. And, yeah, and pattern. pattern. I recognize it. <laughs> exactly. What else? Get in your car, you trust it's gonna start. There's people trust, there's technology trust, there's, there's business trust. We trust the enterprises that we're engaging with. Um, trust is incredibly important in all aspects of our life. And as technology becomes more and more prominent in every corner of our life, the importance of trusting the digital connections is so critical. I love this quote by Warren Buffett that it takes 20 years to build a reputation in five minutes uh, to ruin it. We've seen some cyber breaches recently that demonstrate that, right? You can lose trust very quickly in today's connected world. And at Digicert, as the largest trust company in the world, we take the responsibility of trust very seriously. Digital trust for the real world, we talk about this a lot, is really the fabric of security and connectivity. When I talk about digital trust, my definition is as we go to engage in connectivity, we have confidence that those connections are secure and can be trusted. Honestly, most consumers are a little too naive, and we all know this, to know if it's trusted or not. And so the burden lies on the professionals, the enterprises that are deploying those solutions to make sure that they can be trusted. But digital trust is all about having confidence that those connections, whether it be you're opening a web browser to purchase something online, or you're using, um, you're using a connected medical device in treatment for diabetes, whatever it is, knowing that those things are secure. So to further demonstrate, we all know that technology is bouncing up everywhere, popping up everywhere in our lives, but I, I recently did this, um, I, I recently did an exercise where I went through my daily life and I said, I'm just gonna think about all the, all the things today that could be compromised. So the first thing I do in the morning, I always, I'm an Alexa user, so I use Alexa, I say, hey, wake me up to some good uh, peppy song. And I trust that that connection or that command is actually gonna be received, it's gonna be interpreted and it's gonna respond in the way that I ask it to. I usually then wake up, roll over. First thing I do, I look at a browser, whether it's Gmail or, or Outlook, and I check in on, on my emails. I am a type one diabetic, so I'll roll over, I'll pick up my phone that was just beeping at me, and I'll make sure my blood sugar is okay. I trust that the integrity of that number that it's giving me is accurate. I then will get on, I'll do a quick scan of the news on a web browser. Uh, recently, I, um, I have a truck that has a good infotainment system and I got prompted and said, your vehicle needs to be updated to improve the security. I was like, oh my gosh, this is, we are finally getting there. Um, but those updates, can we trust that when we click accept and run that it can be trusted? I get to work, I use a smart badge to authenticate myself. It says Mike Nelson has arrived at DigiCert. It identifies me. I then turn my laptop on and it seamlessly authenticates to the Wi-Fi. Can I be trusted? Does my company know that I am who I say I am? 
And then I get one of those annoying prompts that says your computer hasn't been updated for a long time and it takes 30 minutes to run through an update. Also interesting, I, I just recently sold my house. Every document I signed was digital. The world is becoming more and more digital. And that's just, you know, that gets me through about noon in the day, right? I mean, there's so many things in our lives where those connections can become compromised. Digital trust has to be the fabric for the connected world. Now, this gets a little personal here, but I will share this. This is my adorable 10-year-old daughter, Olivia. Now, she, like her dad, is a type 1 diabetic. And this is her holding her Omnipod. She also uses a Dexcom glucose monitor. These devices can be compromised, and they have been compromised. Now, as a security professional, I don't think everybody thinks about this, but when I put that on her, I think very differently than I think most consumers do, because I think about what happens if something goes wrong there. She's vulnerable. So my message today is, as connectivity begins touching the most critical assets in our businesses and in our lives, we have to ensure that trust is there. And that is the foundation of what DigiCert does. DigiCert is known very much as an SSL certificate company, but we have expanded our portfolio to do so much more than that. And today I wanna to show you some of the cool, innovative things that we are doing to help protect our most critical assets. Now, I'm excited to tell you today, DigiCert's technology is on both of the devices that my daughter is using. And I have confidence that they're secure. And we need to get that, and we need to get to that level with all of the assets under management and businesses, whether it's in a consumer's home, we need to make sure that those connections are trusted. Um, IDC um, recently said um, that organizations need to start making digital trust a strategic imperative. We're beginning to see um, titles like digital trust officer uh, pop up in organizations. It's becoming much more common, this term of, of digital trust. 